I should probably do this before I start streaming, but hold up. It didn't cut audio out when I tabbed it. Anyway. Battletech. A game I've been playing for far longer than I intended. I also forgot what I was doing. Oh, that answers what I was doing then. Man, look at all these possible options we have. To be honest, I'm hoping we just get, uh... Should do rep bonus. Hoping we can finish the story at some point. Also, I've been informed. Uh, why are you missing? Oh, that's right, the story. I've been informed that apparently this is some sort of graphical bug. Or something that causes the armor to be missing when it's not actually missing. I guess we're about to find out, but apparently it's because I don't repair the limbs, I'm just repairing the whole thing and that's messing with it, but... That seems a bit silly that it would do that. But we're gonna go into this and see if we're missing armor. Because I can't fix it in the mech bay. Which is really irritating. Bubbles is now hosting me. Clap. I can't fix it in the mech bay because it's not fixable. There's nothing to fix. So it missing armor doesn't matter. So. If we are missing armor, then it bollocks because I can't fix it. What's up, Rata? Radicalism. That's actually a great name. I like that. How's your, uh, Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. It's a long weekend, so I'm all sorts of confused. Command interface initiated. We've been on this map before. Right. Are we missing armor? We are not, so that is just a graphical bug. Alright, fair enough. Why are you so fast? On my way. Your day's going well, how about mine? Mine's alright. My game won't update on Steam for reasons that I don't quite understand, but apart from that I'm doing okay. There is essentially no chance that I can shoot that, so... We're just gonna sensor lock it. These are all gonna be heavy turrets, aren't they? Yep. That's a shredder. Yes, Commander. I dislike that existing. Move order received. Is it actually gonna get a turn, I wonder? Is there ever going to be a day where my game doesn't lag whenever it does literally anything? The answer to that is no. I wonder if I can actually, uh, the turret up there, what? Move order received. I wonder if I can actually just pass days without doing contracts and it will unlock the, uh, the reason to censor like. If it'll unlock the story missions. One of these days, the stalker is going to be able to shoot at something, it'll be great. been watching since Red Alert 3? Man, that's a long time ago. Sensor lock on target. 
I never actually finished Red Alert 3, I believe. I wanted to, but we didn't, so... I wonder if I could get someone else to play through that again with me. That is... a lot of damage. For some reason, these turrets aren't getting turns, and I don't really know why. I think I might be out of range on them or something. Well, no, I can't be, because I can see them. Oh, wait, no, maybe I was out of range. Part of me actually wants to do, uh... Be careful about moving him. Roger. Part of me wants to do the co-op StarCraft stuff as well. Oh, hey, you can actually get in range to shoot some of your weapons. I shouldn't have done that because it's going to get a turn now. Hmm. I've made a mistake and someone's about to get shot in the face. The Stalker, as is tradition. Warning. Armor low. Already? Are you serious? What do you mean, armor low? I don't think you know the definition of low. But Pandocity. You've played a bit of the co-op stuff and had fun? I don't know anything about the co-op stuff. Someone on my friends list has been playing it, but... I haven't seen any of it. I don't I don't know if it's the actual like main campaign or if it's something different. I haven't even done the main campaign despite owning the game. How you doing, Pandocity? I don't know if I asked that, but if I did, I'm asking again. Not the main campaign? Yes, Commander. Aye, aye. So there's that turret left, and that looks like all of it. Oh, hello. Wow, this base may have gun emplacements? Who knew? Certainly not me. Never heard of such a thing as a gun emplacement before. You only did one game and that's all the experience you have? Fair enough. Wrong with you? That's a repair. No. I thought he was going to sensor lock me, but nope. On my way. He's opted to be a passive little turret. Once this thing's dead, we can just sprint everyone into this little area to uh, proceed. Words are hard. You should probably go back to sleep. For your 9 to 6 a.m. shift? Nah. Did I get new fat tank boys? I think this is the same fat tank boys we had last time I streamed. Well, last time you were here, which I think was last time I streamed. You guys can't go up that way, can you? I'm about to find out, I guess. I should have waited on moving him into that. The only new one that we would have, if you haven't seen it, is this stalker here. We have visual already? Or uh, radar? 65, 60. Well, I should have waited because they don't spawn until I go in there, I think. And yeah, you can't go anywhere. God damn it.
Stalker's entire purpose is to have a lot of guns and fire them. That's literally it. It has a fuck ton of them. It can't shoot them very efficiently, but it has a lot. That's a quick draw. Oh, he's probably gonna shoot me, yeah. Which is rude. Is it a fat boy or a skinny boy? Well, it's like 85 tons. It's pretty big. Standing by. Okay, so. We have angered them, and there are three of them. Let's just walk over here and say hello, see if we can see this one. Oh no, there's four. Oh, that's... ...dramatically less good. Because those are both assault mix. Splitting fire. One of them is 90 tons. I assume he's gonna shoot missiles at me. Oh, nope, that's a battle master. Please stop shooting my stalker. Please stop knocking my stalker over. That's actually really, really bad. Because now he has initiative one, which means half of them go before he does. That's bad. Here we go. We need a precision strike so we can slow people down. Or perhaps kill them, one of the two. That's not happening. Oh hey, right I subscribed. Thank you very much. I f actually forgot I had that the uh, thingy set up. Do you know if that uh, Bethesda stream ever did anything yet? Thank you, by the way. Appreciate it a lot. Uh, they announced a new Fallout, which I mean, kind of expect that to happen, but they did announce a new Fallout. Like Fallout 76 or something. So if we precision strike this dude, we can't see him, so we can't do anything about that. There should only be one mech that's initiative two. I was never big on Fallout, so I, I don't really care about Bethesda that much. Nice miss, bro. was lagging so you didn't hear. Well, conveniently, it was typed. Was I dropping frames? No. Okay. Stand up, friend. Your right arm is not very happy. What we can do is we can land you here and then rotate you. If this mountain wasn't in the way, it'd be a lot easier. My brother was more the Fallout person than me, so... We are going to nuke you, and almost overheat in the process, but we are nuking you. You enjoyed the settlement building? A lot of people seem to dislike 4, but I think 4 had... At least some new interesting things going off. Please don't shoot his right arm. Thanks. Please stop hitting me in the head. Thanks. Is there an older Fallout? Named 76? I thought they just were numbered in order. I don't know why. I assume it's the year, like, 76. 1976 or 1776 or something, I don't know, but... I don't know what was wrong with just naming your shit... a number, but whatever. 
do we want to shoot at? Probably this battle master. Well, no, that is a Highlander. Mm. Aye, aye. Twenty years after the bomb fell, so it's the first one in the timeline. Yeah, I heard it was. The, I heard it was before the others. And the Highlander's beefy. I think the Battle Bastard will do more damage if it gets close. So, let's shoot it in the leg. Darts and Vault 76. Ew. Okay. Everyone says New Vegas is their favorite. Which I guess is fair. How this doesn't crush that building, by the way, I have no idea. You know what, let's keep going for the leg. Take that. Oh, I learned something about the shops in this game. The building works out. Apparently so, it's a beefy boy. Uh, the shop, the stuff available in shops is dependent on out. the system and how far into the story you're in. So you can get uh, certain specialist weapons in certain shops at later parts of the game. Like a uh, AC-20 with three pluses on it, you know? Although, by default, there is no province in the game that sells Star League stuff now. That was a lot of not armor damage. But we can't buy double heat sinks or golf rifles or anything without mods, but there are mods, which are interesting. We're gonna overheat like fuck in a second here, by the way. I probably shouldn't be walking my stalker up here, all things considered, but... Surprisingly, that didn't kill that thing. You're waiting for the patch that has difficulty options, it's too stressful. So, I was expecting that to kill him and thus he wouldn't get a turn, which wouldn't endanger my stalker, but unfortunately. Never mind, he's an idiot. Um, what's up, Lord Vin? How you doing? Why does the LRM have such good accuracy there? Now the one thing I do need to make sure I do here, so that our stalker doesn't fucking explode, is call shot the Highlander. On a scale from 1 to 10, how would you recommend a battle mech? Um, as it currently stands, I would probably go... What the hell did we even hit last time? You already moved, right? Yeah. I'd probably go with a 7. Making your mech boys too hot? I know. I'd like, you, I'd like to point out, by the way, the firing line for this ends right there. Confirmed. There's, uh, mods aren't supported. So that's the thing. 
that hit. But there are mods, and they do some neat stuff. There's rebalancing mods. I don't know the value of them, if they're any good or anything like that. Um, there's mods that add in the Star League air attack and stuff like that. Could kill him, but it's better off that we uh, precision strike this dude. Which is going to cause us to shut down. Probably because of the PPC, yeah. Taking the shot. Caught mech boys in your area. Four miles away. Heat. The reason I did this is because he wouldn't be initiative 2, so we can do this. Now he's still in danger because he can't move once he restarts, but at least he can't auto-called shot this. Are we good? Are you gonna walk backwards and punch me? What's your plan here? Oh, nope, you're gonna 180 like hell. You crit my LRM? You hit the other mech again, you dick. I'm showing minor damage. Or did it register on her but hit him? I don't know. What are you... Stop that. There's also a mod that adds the uh, entirety of the... Inner Sphere to the map. Because currently we're just on a tiny little portion of the Inner Sphere. Um, you... Where is your AC-10? I think it's on this arm, which is why I was shooting at it. Oh, right, we can hover over it and see. That's right, you have AC-10. Okay. Blow up his torso. Targeting for an alpha strike. That did not hit the torso portion that I wanted you to hit. Yeah, damn it. Oh, there goes that arm. And that's exactly why I wanted that destroyed. This game, uh, does actually have multiplayer. Probably continue harassing this Highlander. But we really ought to kill this dude at some point. Your problem is you can't really go anywhere. Affirmative. Break his kneecaps, he can't stand, or he can't fight if he can't stand. This is true. We're gonna get our heat down. We already broke half of his entire mech off, so I'm surprised he's still functioning at all, but you know. Hey, there we go. Enemy down. Yeah, the multiplayer is just the uh, the skirmishes and stuff, which they're not bad. But there's no multiplayer uh, multiplayer campaign or anything like that. Location confirmed. The only reason the Battlemaster was up for so long is because uh, assaults are big boys. You're not wrong. I would like you to cease having an uh I'd like you to cease having an auto cannon, but I can't shoot that side of your mech, so taking the shot. Probably shouldn't have even shot. Oh well. I'm out of long range missiles. Mech Warrior 5 is gonna get co-op multiplayer? I did not. But this is intriguing. Oh, apparently we did need to precision and yeah. Apparently we needed to precision strike him so he wouldn't get his turn, but now I'm dead. That's what happens when an AC-10 hits you in the head. Um... Well, that's unfortunate. Targeting for an alpha strike.
This is why I wanted that arm off, but no one job. fucking shot him in the arm. Can I melee you? No. First. Oh, yes I can. What? I guess we're going there. Oh no, we just moved. Okay, sure. On, it. On the plus side, that was me and not someone like Decker. Because uh, I am unkillable. I just spend a decade in the hospital. Everyone else will actually die if that happens. Like, as in, they're not coming back dead. Mission. We did it, sort of. That's gonna be expensive repairs on that stalker, but welcome to the stalker, I guess, because this is a recurring theme. So the Battlemaster just took heat damage. This thing lost an arm and its head. Oh my god. I may as well be dead, let's be honest. Alright, well... Uh, we're gonna have to replace all this, which is unfortunate because it's bonus equipment. And I don't know if we have good replacements for it. What do we get? Quick draw, Highlander. I would like another Highlander. May as well pick up both of those. What do we have down here? Ooh. And a bajillion heat sinks. I may as well be dead with 120 days in the hospital. Good lord. Yeah, let's see if we can fix our mech. It's not going to be as good, but I'm pretty sure we can at least replace the pieces. Yeah, I know. Alright, so you just need a repair. And you'll be alright. You, however, need pieces. Many pieces. Okay. Lasers. I still need to custom build mechs at some point. And then an LRM-10 was there. We may as well keep it because I like LRM-10s. I could give you an LRM-20. Hmm. A heat seek and some ammo. The ammo's up here. A lot of stuff in your arm there, bud. Making medium laser boot? Um, I was thinking of doing that because medium lasers are pretty good in this. But I don't know that I really have much that's good for a medium laser boot, except for the Battlemaster, but it's basically already a medium laser. But I want a uh, the the upgraded trebuchet. I forget the name of it again. God damn it! The catapult. I want a catapult. Is there an assault mech version of a trebuchet? I don't know that there is. Thirteen thousand. How about no? Actually, I'll just stay in the hospital. Not upgrading that shit. Is a longbow and archer for assault missile boats. Well, Got a new I haven't seen them. So if they're in game, they're pretty rare. Actually, let's look at our contracts, because I don't think we're going to have anything good here. Oh, never mind, I'm mistaken. Recovery, recovery, battle. In lowlands, though. Someone pointed out that if I want a uh, larger mix, I should probably focus on assassinations, and that makes sense because assassination difficulty is primarily one really big mech. I wanted the uh, reputation bonus, even though it's going to make me stay in the hospital even longer. 
build an actual boat. I wish I could. That's the thing with Battletech and Mech Warrior stuff. Your mechs, they're all bipedal. There's no variation. Every mech is bipedal. You get stuff like Chrome Hounds or Ace Combat, or not Ace Combat, uh, Armored Core. You have, you know, Spider Mechs. You got Floaty Boy Mechs. You got uh, Treaded Mechs. You got Variety. I wish the Battletech universe had that. A friendly competition. Local government hired a dude. Promotional tour. We get four morale. Holy shit. Good job, Behemoth. You did it. Our morale is really high. What's up, Howling? Don't be lewd with the nurses. You don't tell me what to do. Oh, we could go on that mission because our mechs are done. I'm not out of the hospital, but we're fine. Oh, I should do uh, experience. God, that was fast. What was fast? Where? Where's people? You. What does this give you? Indirect fire. I prefer that. Mech warrior training is ready for orders. That gets you overheat, which is good. Yes, commander. My answer? Oh, I'm doing the- I have the low latency turned on. It's very nice if your uh, browser supports it. Level up my head armor. That's breaching shot, right? Yeah. Called shot bonus, recoil penalty. Well, Medusa's gonna come with us in a second here, so let's give him this. Training confirmed, Commander. Receiving you. Decker is a god. Almost. He dies a lot, but you're right. More health for Behemoth. We're called Shot Mastery. Do that. Alright, let's go die in a contract, shall we? This one specifically. Look at that difficulty. Alright, Medusa. You're in the stalker, try not to die. Do I want to use a stalker? Well, I'm not taking a trebuchet, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you know, this is a minor problem because he's not ace. We're all slow as hell, but here we go. Is this still the same campaign as the one on YouTube? Yes. All I'm doing is just taking the Twitch stuff and putting it up on YouTube, except for that one where I recorded without Twitch because it was god awful hours and like 30 minutes at a time. But yeah, I haven't finished the campaign yet. When I finish the campaign, I'll probably investigate some mods. You haven't kept up with my YouTube? That's alright, no one really has. The long game. I think I'm making it longer than it needs to be. Command interface initiated. But that's okay. Keep an eye on reinforcements. Ah, good. That's what I want. So there's another thing I learned, actually. The difficulty on missions is an approximation, technically. Um... Because there is an RNG chance that the difficulty will be either higher or lower, and then there's an additional RNG chance that reinforcements will show up. So you can actually get, and I've had this happen before, you can get a uh, four and a half star mission that has like seven assault mechs in it, and it becomes a very bad time. Location confirmed. Roger. I see the Fallout teaser? No, because I don't care about Fallout. I know it exists, the teaser. I just haven't watched it, and I probably won't. Ended horribly on the mission to steal the Argo from the pilots. That mission's actually fairly hard. 
The uh, middle of the mission, the middle of the campaign is pretty easy. That's 60 tons. It's not very scary. Middle of the campaign is pretty easy. The um, start of the campaign is rough, though. See what this mech is. It is a dragon, which is not in any way, shape, or form intimidating. So we're going to shoot all of our weapons at it. What if it has three PPCs? I don't think there's a 60 ton mech with a default loadout that has three PPCs. There's a 60 ton vehicle with three. At least I think it's 60 ton. Standing by. It's not 60, it's 80, because that's the only... Confirmed. Other mech or vehicle size that really. All right, what did we do to you? Not really a whole lot. Do Copy it again. That. Mauler and Awesome are both assaults. Yes, I believe Awesome is like entry assault, but I'm I don't remember Mauler's weight. Excuse me. Rude. Alright, so they have at least a, a single assault mech somewhere. It's good to know. One of these days, we're gonna have a mission where this Highlander gets shot up, and we're going to lose this Gaulsh rifle. It's gonna happen. It'll be really sad, because I like the Gaulsh rifle, but... It'll happen eventually. Those are the only ones you can think of this area that would fit PPCs. There's actually a light mech that has a PPC on it. Not three, that would be disgusting, but it does exist, comically enough. There's several mediums that have PPCs, and then I think one heavy has a PPC on it. I was really trying to kill this dude, by the way, without using morale, if you're curious. Knocking him down works the same. Technically doesn't, but... Knocked down mechs do not provide visual, so... Oh, what? Oh, that's 95 tons. And it's on my flank. I'm really banking on this dude dying so they lose their visual on us. Whatever's back behind him. So I don't know what this is, but it scares me. Yeah. Um, use you. Rotate that way. Moving to position. I don't need to move up. This is a relatively long range mech, but I just wanted to see if we'd get sensor range on anything. We didn't. And I need you to die, so... You crit the LRM, but not the ammo. That's... and you didn't kill any parts. That's actually impressive. You can't think of a mech in the 95 ton range? I'm pretty sure two of mine, no, at least one of mine is 95 ton, is it? Is it the Highlander? I won't tell you on this page. I think the Highlander is 95 tons. Battlemaster might be, but I think that one's 90. You can't shoot. You can. So I would like you to kill him, again, the recurring theme. Look at this poor man! Giving him everything I've got. I didn't need to shoot that many weapons, but better to be safe than sorry. Game's quite pretty. I think so too. This is... So just as a heads up so everyone's aware, this is the settings it's on. They've got a sensor lock on me. I've been sensor locked. 
It's basically all the way up for the most part. So who got sensor locked? You did. Probably. Oh fuck. All right. Well, shit. Commander. So I don't know what that is, but that's an atlas because it's the only 100 ton mech in this game. I'm pretty sure. Uh, poop. Let's move this way. Actually, you can you can sensor lock. So let's do something like this. Heading out. Daishi is not in game. I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, that's out of sensor range. Fuck. Whatever. So two, fuck, two ninety-five ton mechs and an atlas. So far that we're aware of. Again, remember, difficulties are approximations. Let's see. So you can't censor lock because this deck uh, Medusa and not me, so you may as well just guard. I really hate that the enemy's censor lock lasts so much longer than mine ever does, but whatever. it by blowing off its legs. I would love to, but there are two 95. No, that's an 85, isn't it? Can't read that. I'm blind. That is 85. Okay, so 95 and an 85. Orders. Uh, who can censor lock? You two can. Rugby. Well, actually, I'd prefer you to shoot. So the Atlas pilot is capable of sensor locking, in case you haven't noticed that. We can technically abuse this. Got a lock. Is that an Atlas? That's a King Crab. I forgot that existed, to be honest. I would actually like that. Good to go. Um I thought it was an Atlas. I always forget about the poor King Crab. Look at him. Beautiful. Anyway. Um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. Oh yeah, we can abuse him by staying out of visual range and having him sensor lock us, but... Can't the Krabby fit multiple AC-10s? Yes. Which is why I'm still scared of it. I don't know if that's in visual range, but let's do this. What do you have equipped? You have two AC-20s. Okay. You need to fall over. Yeah, the LRM I'm less worried about than the AC-20s. If it gets close to us, it is going to kill somebody. Look at him go. He might be in- yeah, he's in visual range for sure now. Well, actually, maybe not. He's opted to not shoot. What's up, boss? Here he is. Got it. So he's in rough terrain. It's possible- or he passed rough terrain. It's possible we could knock him over just from that. Not that it really matters that much. Never mind, this is apparently the most stable mech ever built in existence. Why are no. Oh, they're not shooting because I'm not sensor locked. But he's in visual range. Why are... That's a very curious situation we're in here. I'd like to be closer to shoot more things at him, but he has two AC-20s. Aye, aye. 
My vision longer than his by chance? It could be possible. He's an elite recon pilot though, I find that hard to believe. No, we should save that for my stalker. It's possible my vision range is longer though. Elite Recon Crab. Oh, now he's for sure, yeah. Ow. Wait, what did you just shoot me with? It's a banshee. Forgot that existed too. What did you just shoot me with? And who is Initiative 2? Receiving you. That's well, two PPCs, okay. So, yeah. Why can you not see us, and why can we not see you? Hmm. Good to go. Receiving you. Orders? If we go here, we can see you. But then you can see us. Well, you know, it's just Decker he's used to getting shot at. I did sensor lock him earlier, but look at where he is. Maybe it's a hill. Maybe it's this rock. Nah. Who knows? You shoot him in the leg. Actually, we don't even need to shoot him in the leg. Nah. Fuck that. Got it. Uh, well, he's gonna stand him up immediately anyway, but we get the pilot injury. And then we can target his leg specifically with, uh, Medusa? Since we're running out of morale to use Precision Strike here. Oh! Please don't AC-20 me. Thanks, sweet Jesus. Oh! He is closer. He comes. The crab beckons. Not really is statement I ever want to say again in my life, but... Alright, Medusa. You cannot use Precision Strike because we're 2% off. Never mind. You're going to shoot someone in the back of the head. Roger. Uh, I actually don't know the max range on AC-20s, but they're basically shotguns for all intents and purposes. Yes, Commander. They have extremely short optimal ranges. Standing by. But you can precision strike. The only reason I'm moving my mechs, by the way, is I'm trying to get... I don't want to do that. Oh, someone's got to. I'm trying to get evasion charges on my mix. Like that. Crabby boy, in the leg. Not a very good chance. Got it. Oh. We're through the armor. We blew his leg up. Clap. Scored a critical hit. We also blew up a heat sink. Which I don't think matters for him, because he's got two AC-20s, but... So that's two pilot injuries. We blew up a leg, which is partially unfortunate. What the hell are you? You're a stalker! Please don't shoot me. Oh hell. My armor is getting ripped off. Uh, I might be able to outfit the crowd with two Gauss. You can't. There's not two Gauss in the game. Well, actually, you can abuse the game's loot system and get two Gauss, but otherwise there are not. I'm not really worried about the Stalker too much. Because it'll overheat itself at some point, but so will we, I guess. Now, the downside is I don't know how much health this pilot has. I can blow off its torso, that'll injure the pilot again. I 
it could end the pilot's life, but then we lose the scrap from it, so I don't know. You can buy weapons. You just can't buy Gauss rifles. Gauss rifle is a tech that is not currently available. Affirmative. Did we? No, that's a bug. I forgot about that bug. Ow. Don't forget, once we deal with this fucking crab, we have to deal with the other two mechs over there that are untouched at the moment. So we should get a turn bef- Oh, what? Looks like enemy reinforcements. We should get a turn before him, but there appears to be a lot of LRMs over there. Freshly made chicken strips. Welcome back. Yeah, we did. So, who knows what the fuck is over there. Yes, Commander. But the crab needs to cease existing, so... Do you have salsa? This is a good question. Very important. How much armor do you have left? Not very much. If all of this hits, we can kill the leg and end the crab's life. It all has to hit, though, so... Well, the... Gosh rifle did, I think. Hmm. Well, time for the crab to stand up. What's up, dude? Oh, you missed. Oh, you missed. Clap. That is a really cool looking mech, though, not gonna lie. Alright, what do you have left? Six health. I'm mad. Ready for orders. You're gonna overheat, you're gonna overheat, everyone's gonna overheat. 